What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So, just before we get into this video, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, just it was a busy week, but things are better, things are cooling down, so it should be back to normal. So, uh, basically, a while back, I think it was uh, two weeks ago or so, we added a new in we added two new NPCs. We'll talk about the first one first. Uh, so basically, let me get you there. Let me show you. Oh, I'm not actually typing in game. Uh, so this dude auto makes pies for you. The logic is that he needs some help with invention, and you're going to help him by giving him your supplies. Now, you do get some experience, but it is half. So you get half the experience you would normally get by, um, by just making the pies yourself. Uh, so basically what you need is one summer pie, noted, and then um, however many organic components is required. I don't know off the top of my head. Let me look. A thousand. It was a thousand. I remember. See, look at me. I'm smart. I know my own server. So you need a thousand organic components and one summer pie. Give them to this dude, and he will give you back one garden pie and uh, some experience. So let me show you what that looks like. Two nine seven four, one thousand, and then seven two. One Boom. So that's what you need. Talk to him. Skadoosh. Oh, I didn't. Oh, three seventy five. So as you can see, we started off at uh, one invention, and we are now level four. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to calculate how expensive it would be to buy 99 Invention and get it in one second with one click. Um, so obviously th this was not designed for this reason. This was completely designed just for people who didn't care about experience and wanted pies, a ton of pies. So this is really meant for people who already have 99 Invention and just don't care about experience anymore. But I didn't want to give it no experience. So... This is certainly a doable option. I know some people have have just decided that they don't want to learn anything with invention. They just they only do pies. Um, so maybe this will be better for you. I don't know. Let's uh, let's find out. Let's do some math. So first up, let's take ninety nine. Now let's divide that by how much experience we got. Did I just do the wrong thing? I did do the wrong thing. Up, 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 stupid. Close your eyes. Okay. So bad math aside, we need to make. Three thirty four thirty four thousand seven hundred and fifty nine pies. That is a lot of pies. Now there are limited stock options. Obviously, in this stop, in this shop, you only have the the unnoticed summer pies. I believe they're in the sponsor zone. Let's check. And you should have some noted pies in this one. Yes. So I don't recall the full stock. Let's find out. Reload ships. Um. Obviously, if you were to actually attempt this, which I wouldn't recommend because it's probably gonna be way too expensive. Uh, you would have to wait for stock as well. So that definitely factors into the whole, you know, spiel. But uh, we have 10k, and they are 2,000. So in order to perch, purchase 34,759 pies, that only costs 69 mil. So already, not bad. And realistically, you only need 34,000. So three reloads of the, of the uh, shop, and you're set. So the next part of the equation is a little tricky. So this is about the organic components. So organic components can be obtained from many different items. There's many different ways you could approach it. If you wanted to do like the best item that gives the most organic components, you'd be looking at something like blowpipe and whatnot. But the problem with that is obviously you can't get a bunch of blowpipes. So if, if we're talking like you got a big wad of cash and you want to buy something that you can disassemble, cave nightshade. Cave nightshades are pricey as hell. Uh, so what we're going to do is let me get the file open. Okay, so whenever you disassemble a cave nightshade, you can get, um, you're, you're always guaranteed to get at least 500 components. So anytime you disassemble, you're going to get 500 no matter what. And then on top of that, you can get anywhere from 500 to 2,500. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the average that you would obtain from, a, from, from disassembling a cave nightshade. Now, obviously, you could disassemble one and get 2,500, disassemble the next, get zero, disassemble the next, get, you know, who knows what. There's any different variation, but obviously, the average is the best number to go for because that's what you're going to get on average. So, on average, you're going to get 1,500 organic components per cave nightshade. Okay, so hopefully I'm doing my math right. Basically, what I did is I took the total amount of pies needed, multiplied that by 1,000 because that's how many components are needed, and then divided that by 1,500, because that's how much we're going to get on average. Um, so using those numbers, we're going to need 23,173 cave nightshades. All right, cost is 72K on the dot. 
times 72,000 and boom we need 1.6 bill just on the cave night shades so in total to buy one to 99 invention you need 1.7 bill honestly that's not bad i think most people if they didn't have to actually get the organic components and they could just trade like the cave nightshades for example they would definitely take this route but as i said that's not the intention so i have no desire to code that but if you are one of those people that has a massive chunk of organic components or you've uh, you know spent a good chunk of time disassembling cave nightshades all you need is 1.7 bill and you got yourself a 99 invention let's do it one invention one click. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I got my mystery box. What we get? That's not bad. So, all right. So, in a similar update, basically, this dude over here uh, has been added, and he's actually in the other uh, sawmill place near the rocks. So if you don't have access to the woodcutting guild, you don't have to worry. You can go over there. That's just a little bit longer, but. Um, basically, he is just an extra person to give you a use for your use seeds and magic seeds. He provides you a little bit of farming experience and gives you some logs as well. Um, you can do both use and uh, magics, and it's five at a time, so this might take a minute. Um, so let's take the, the numbers. Uh, 99 is 130341. And each, um, I believe for the magic seed, he gives you 87.5k experience. So do the math, which I already did, and we only need 149 magic seeds to get 99 farming. That seems dangerously easy. I might have to revisit this. So if you ever wanted 99 invention or 99 farming, you better do it quick because I might revisit these numbers. Um, magic seeds are not very consistent to get. Let me show you what sort of things drop them. Um, hopefully, I can just search magic seed. Yeah, giant rock. How many does it give? It can give up to five on the common table. Zelra has it on one. Commander has one. Glad. What does Glad drop? Just one. Glad dragons. Just the one. Fish in hand. One. That, that, that's kind of a. Uh, I mean, I guess there's not. I mean, the, the best thing you can really grind is Vorkath. I bet you that's where most of these people got them. Yeah, I feel like that might be too much experience for how frequently you can get them. I mean, Revelant. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely have to revisit some of that. I, I don't know. I'll revisit something. Obviously, if you have different opinions, let me know. You guys play the server. It's, your opinions matter way more than mine. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's get, see. Let's see how many logs we get. I don't remember the ratio. Uh, let me just look it up. So the amount of uh, logs you get is um, per per uh, one magic seed. It is. I believe 25 so if you turn in five which we're going to you have the chance of getting up to 125 per click so let us spam. Uh, I should have made it so it didn't remove the interface so you can I should just do that right now you know what just just in case I forget I'm in that file right now let's just do some moving because it doesn't really need to remove the interface. I think I think most people would prefer it if you kept it open, so you can spam click like that. Could be downsides where if you didn't want to spam click, but if you didn't want to spam click, don't spam click. You know what I mean? Shit. Can't babysit everybody. Also, apparently, doing it in all of the wrong fucking places. Well, I'm gonna pop. Okay, so at some point in the future, when you do this, that should be a smidge easier. But for now, let's just keep spam clicking. Uh, and we get, of course, we got the ones. Yeah, no, no, sorry, man. I'll take 1,500 logs. That's about standard. So, all in all, not bad. 299s in nine minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.